Hey guys, prepared wander out in the woods again today, and um, it's been a while since I've been out. And I gotta tell you the truth, I've been having some more problems with my knee. If you guys are a follower of the channel, you know that um, I had some knee surgery a couple months back. Well, I have a stress fracture now of my patella, and I'm wearing a, a pretty heavy duty knee brace right now. And this is really the first weekend that I have felt well enough to walk um, uh, without crutches or without you know aid of anything and my knees feeling pretty good so today is a, a light day and when I'm out here in the woods I just want to do a couple reviews show you some stuff and uh, get back at uh, filming because it's been a while it's been a long time and too long and as you saw the footage coming in this is a trail that I hike uh, pretty regularly and it's the first time I've seen it unmowed they usually mow it down so you can get back into the woods and they didn't this time this time of year and it is thick so definitely have to have a chick uh, tick check tonight unfortunately so what are we talking about well uh, first thing is we're going to talk about this one I'm wearing right now this is the Emerson gear recon kit bag and uh, a recon bag I should say and, uh, you know, it's going to be, people are going to either love or hate this review. I'm just going to be honest with you. Some people are going to really uh, bitch up a storm about it and uh, for certain reasons. And we'll get into that. So stick around. We're going to get into it. And I'll show you what I got. All right. So first things first, we're just going to, we're going to get uh, all the complaining uh, issues out of the way right now. This is a bag that is very reminiscent of the Hill People Gear kit bag. And some say it's a direct copy. Um, others will say it's not. Um, why I'm featuring it on the channel is because it's a cheaper alternative to the kit bag and I like to present different alternatives to people on gear. Um, I think it, it gets a little weird sometimes how gear has become a status symbol and I have this right canteen and I have this right bag or backpack and I fall prey to that sometimes like well they have it I need to have that too um, but there's always different alternatives out there cheaper alternatives and I happen to find this one I think it's a good alternative I think it's different enough that it's not a direct copy of Hill People gear kit bag and it's economical and that's what I'm you know that's why I want to feature in the channel so first thing is first it does on the outside the exterior look very much like a recon kit bag uh, that Hill People gear sell Molly on the front zipper pouch on the front main zipper pouch here harness very similar but there's some key features that are different so let's take a look okay so let's uh let's take a look at this thing a little bit closer now right off the bat it definitely has a hill people gear look to it and i can understand why some people would say this is just a direct rip off it's definitely the the design the initial structure of it has been um, designed after the Hill People Gear kit bags. Um, and there's really not many bags like that on the market. I mean, there's the, the uh, Kifaru, Kifaru makes one, which was originally designed by the guys at Hill People Gear. And there's the Hill People Gear, and that's probably pretty much it for these chest pouches. So to find something different is really hard. And this one, at least, I think, uh, has a couple different features in it that make it different than the kit bag and it's just a different alternative so the first thing you notice row of molly on the front i've got a couple grimlocks on mine that way i can uh, attach gloves or whatever hang some stuff off of here bandanas whatever i don't i don't have any intentions of putting a lot of pouches in the front of this thing uh, they just get a little too heavy for me uh going inside here's a key feature that's different the front pouch on the uh, Hill People gear, there's only two slot pouches. This has three. So I've got a space blanket in here for emergencies. I've got some fire starting gear. This pouch is empty. And then I've got a first aid kit. And this goes all the way down to the bottom. So it's a nice, deep, long pocket. You can put a lot of stuff in there. 
Okay, next is the main pocket. And this is where things get really different. I got my knife in here. And as you can see, this looks a lot different than the Hill People Gear kit bag. It's not even close to the same layout. Uh, the Hill People Gear actually has a, a dedicated gun pocket on their regular kit bag, and then on their recon kit bag, the gun pocket would be just Velcro across the back wall, and that's it. There would be no pockets. Well, this actually has two slip pockets back here, which I have my notebook, and I have my reading glasses. I have a little carabiner up here so I can attach stuff. And then I've got a big main zipper pocket back here, which I have nothing in right now. See that? And then flipping around here so you can see the, the front of the bag, this cockpit area really is amazing. It just has so many features and pockets. So there's elastic loops right here for pens or for flashlights. On this side, the same thing. I've got a little stream light over here. See that? And then it's got more elastic up front right here. And it's actually behind that are a couple pen loops. So I've got an extra pen, right in the rain pen. Got a little pocket screwdriver kit for repairing camera gear. So a couple different options for organizing stuff in those areas. Then you come here, this is what's really nice, is this bungeed pouch, which I've got my headlamp in. But what's amazing about this pouch is it'll actually fit a full 30 round AR mag in here, no problem. Um, and there's enough, there's enough height to this pouch that an AR mag will fit in there. So you could carry two AR mags on, on your person um, at the ready, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, in this pouch over here, I've got my compass with some pace beads right there. So really, right now, today, I have this set up more as an admin pouch. Uh, this is all my essentials, navigation, tools, uh, a little bit of first aid. Um, but it could easily be set up for a gun. You could uh, Velcro holster a pistol back here. Like I said, it fits a full-size knife very easily. Lots of room like that, which for a woodsman, this makes a nice kit. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to have a gun in here. You can carry your knife and uh, your essentials and have a nice little kit and just add a canteen um, at your on your belt and you're ready to go for a day out in the woods. Also, I don't know if you guys see this. Behind these straps right here, there's another pouch nice long one. I've just got a cord back here for my headlamp. But that'd be easily big enough for maps, things like that. Now you probably wonder what these are. And it took me a little while to figure this out, but I think I, I think I understand what you do with this. So if you're a right hand person and you draw from your right with your right hand, you'd stick one of these, stick one of these tabs outside the bag. like that and then as you're if you need to draw your weapon you actually pull down on the strap and that pulls up on the whole bag see that what that did so that's kind of a cool feature that's the kit bag doesn't have that feature at all so I think that's something very different now I go into the back of the bag this bag here, there's the, the tag, Emerson Gear, chest recon bag. It's padded. A lot of padding on this thing. And uh, that's nice. You, it definitely makes a difference when you're wearing it. Also, one thing to note um, if you're going to buy this bag. It comes with uh, two quick-release buckles. One up here. And I think this one down here. On this side, it didn't come with quick-release buckles. It came with static buckles. Now, I've replaced those with repair buckles. You can see that. Let me get close here so you can see that. See, that's the, the repair buckle. And the reason I did that is the reason I took those static buckles off is because they were slipping really badly. So I cut them off. 
I, I was lucky enough to have a couple of these one and a half inch uh, repair buckles in my in my uh, repair kit. So I attached those on here, and then now I have four quick release buckles. I can take this bag completely apart. I don't have to have this harness on here, so I could store this harness away. And now I just have a nice pouch that I could store like in the top of a backpack or something if I'm traveling. Um, so that's my hack for this bag. I would definitely, if you're going to get this thing, make sure you get some repair buckles and uh, do it upright uh, because the, you're going to notice that they slip, the static buckles slip. And that's just a no-go when you're wearing this stuff. Mesh panel. So your back stays cool, doesn't get hot. So all in all, what the heck is that? Oh, great blue heron just flew over. All in all, a really nice option. Now this... Now you're probably going to ask what's the price point because that's of course really important why is this bag cheaper what makes it better it's not necessarily better but it is cheaper and the price point on this bag is um under 55 dollars shipped uh from china uh that's another thing you need to think about when you're going to purchase this bag and find it i found mine on ebay it's the only place i could find it i think there's a couple airsoft stores that had it online but uh, you'll have to do a google search and see if you can find one but they're right around 55 bucks and um that is an incredible price it's cheap so if you really want to try out a, a chest bag to carry a pistol or just to carry your admin items when you're hiking or, or backpacking this may be a good option for you you know it's something to check out um is it is it better in quality than the hill people gear kit bag no absolutely not um it, it could be better in the, as far as those buckles not slipping, but the materials so far um, are XYZ zippers. It is Cordura material. Um, it is nylon straps. So everything seems to be in, uh, you know, good construction materials. We'll see how it lasts and how it holds up. Um, and of course, with a bag like this, there's probably no warranty whatsoever. So if you rip this thing or do something stupid with it you know you're not going to get it replaced or repaired it very easily um but at least with hill people gear you can so it, it's an option um you love it or hate it it's an option and i, I really like to have budget friendly items for my viewers not everybody has a hundred bucks to spend on a chest rig um and I like this one because it's more versatile. It, it's it's not just a dedicated gun pocket. It is more than a gun pocket. It, this can be a great item for search and rescue. Uh, if you're a volunteer search and rescue person and you're looking for an organizer to hold your radios, your compasses, your maps, pens, pe you know, all that stuff that you have to have at the ready. And I know from experience, because I used to be search and rescue, this that kind of stuff is really invaluable to have on your chest up high. And there's not a lot of chest rigs available th for search and rescue. They're very radio specific. And this is not radio specific. It's more gear specific. So I think it makes a really great option uh, for search and rescue. And then for backpacking, you know, if you for navigation tools, it's a great item to have. Um, you don't have to carry a gun in it. So just another option. All right. So I've blabbed on long enough uh, about this. Time to make some more videos, time to get back out and do some stuff. So uh, if you like the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, hit that little bell icon down below in the right-hand corner that makes sure that you are updated when new videos get uploaded. Now that my knee's feeling a little bit better, I'll probably be shooting more video here, hopefully get back to a weekly schedule, which I was on before. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.